Kenosha, Ohio. Officer Scott Knoll races to track down a stolen car that just eluded police. Suddenly, he spots the fugitive driver, Charles Bennett, attempting a U-turn. But as soon as Knoll flashes his lights, Bennett guns it. Other officers quickly join the chase. But what police don't know is that there's an innocent passenger in the front seat. Daryl Black, a neighbor of Bennett's, who just needed a ride to the drugstore. When I first knew there was a real problem was when Wayne first took off. I knew I was in trouble. He seemed determined and petrified at the same time. Daryl now finds himself riding shotgun with a madman, and there's no way to escape. Up ahead, officers scramble to set up spike strips. Daryl can see the trap and pleads with Bennett to stop. The red lights, you know, there's this intersection, and uh, I'm saying, you need to stop this car. You're going to kill us. Instead, the crazed driver swerves dangerously and blows right past them. Knowing his life is on the line, Daryl takes drastic action. I started grabbing the wheel, and then I realized if I would have swung the car, we would have flipped, and we were going way too fast. Finally, Bennett's Monte Carlo is cornered at a crossroads. Officer Knoll sees his chance and aims his cruiser at the driver's door. But Daryl's nightmare ride is far from over. Bennett jams it in reverse and cops open fire. Once again, Cruisers try to slam the outlaw into submission, but he seems unstoppable until an officer hops on the hood and empties his sidearm at point blank range. Glass is hitting me in the face, and you see the bullets go right into the driver, and you see blood going everywhere, and I'm saying, no, no, no. Incredibly, the officer's deadly hail of bullets misses Daryl by mere inches. Cops quickly rush in and remove the terrified passenger. She had a gun! Turns out his neighbor was an ex-con and hell-bent on avoiding a return trip to prison. All of which led to Daryl's night of sudden terror. I could have died. Other people could have died. I didn't expect to be rescued. I thought I was going to be killed.